Good evening, everyone. Tonight we are going to be talking about uh, setting up uh, items for a couple of specific scenarios in Foundry VTT for the Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition system. What we're going to be talking about tonight is blade cantrips, uh, things like Green Flame Blade or uh, Booming Blade. Now, I've done a lot of looking around on this because one of my players picked the spell up, and uh, most of the solutions I found have been uh, were fairly clunky or they didn't work particularly well with a lot of automation. Now, in my game, uh, I have a lot of automation set up for my players using dynamic active effects, uh, token magic, uh, so on and so forth, uh, because you know, I like to give my players a little bit of a light show so, and then, you know, keep track of spell effects as they happen over time. A couple of the solutions, uh, minimally enhanced roller uh, gives you a pretty straightforward way to deal with blade cantrips, but as I said, it doesn't uh, play particularly well with automation, so it doesn't work for me. Now, when you bring, when you get uh, if, uh, green flame, blade into your game. Uh, if you've imported it or uh, had to create it, uh, you're going to have something like this uh, from the start. If you click on the spell item, you get a item, you get a card in chat that doesn't have a lot of useful information with uh, regards to your attack roll or your damage. So. Uh, what I did is I came up with a way to set the spell up uh, using better rolls for 5e and MIDI QOL so that you do not have to create multiple items or you know fudge dice rolls or roll things manually. It gets you everything on one card in chat, which makes resolution nice and easy. Now, first time I did this, I found an edge case where if you rolled a crit on... The melee attack, it would also uh, double the damage dice for the splash damage, which is not how the spells work. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Alphios's spell here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come through here and change the action type to a melee we weapon attack. We're going to remove the attack roll bonus because he does not get that. We'll leave the, uh, we'll change the, we'll leave the melee ability modifier to default. So the first thing we're going to do here is, uh, actually we'll change this to dexterity because that's what his weapons work off of. In the damage formula, we're going to go ahead and put in the damage for him. Uh, as you can see, he uses daggers because he's just a he's a shadow sorcerer. Why he decided that he needs to be in combat, I don't know, but to each their own. So we're going to add 1d4 plus modifier, which is going to be our dexterity and weapon proficiency. We're going to call this our dagger change the ta uh, attack type to piercing. Now what a lot of people have done is they've done the versatile damage as the splash mod, so it basically lets them just alt-click on the spell to roll the splash mod. But we're going to set this up so that we get everything in one activation. By going down to other, uh, what we can do is we can get a formula that does not use the attack roll. So we're going to do 1d8 plus mod, which is our spell mod. And over here, we're going to put splash and fire for the damage type. Now in this case, we've done 1d4 because he has a dagger, but let's say our character also had a a slashing weapon. We'll say like a rapier or something like that. Uh, 
And once we've, and we'll call this uh, slashing. And once we've got all this set up, uh, we're pretty much good to go. So we can close this, move Alpheus into attack range, target this guy. Then we'll go ahead and cast our green flame blade. Get a whole bunch of dice out there. Oh, and we got a crit, perfect. So as you can see, uh, we got a crit on our attack roll. So if we go in and look, it's doubled our damage die on our two weapon attacks, but not on our splash attack, which is exactly how the spell should work. So for the DM, when he goes through and applies damages, he's going to attack. He's going to select the person who is the recipient of the weapon attack. We'll say it was the dagger, and we'll go ahead and apply the damage to him. Oh, so we're getting a pop-up box up here that uh, wants to confirm that we want to use the crit damage. So we apply that damage to him. Then we click on this individual. Subtract the health to him. Sorry about that. I did not see the pop-up in the upper right corner there. Um, that's a setting under uh, better rolls for 5e to confirm that you actually want to apply the crit damage. So as you can see, we have everything that we need uh, to deal with the spell all in one card. And as I said, this works fine with uh, dynamic active effects, MIDI QOL, better rolls for 5e, all the stuff that a lot of people who are automating their games use. Uh, again, there are other ways you can do this that uh, are still one card solutions, but they don't play as well with automation. So... That is uh, Green Flame Blade. This should work for other blade cantrips as well, like Booming Blade. And uh, thank you very much for your time, and have a wonderful evening.